In this video, we are going to show you how to create a click and printing PowerPoint report that includes native PowerPoint tables. First, you must create a new report. Give it a name and select PowerPoint as the format type. Select an app from the drop-down menu. When done, you can start editing your template. Right-click the Tables node and then select Add Objects. From the Connection drop-down, select a connection to a ClickSense app or ClickView document you've previously created. Select a ClickSense object from the list. Then, expand the Table node and select the fields you want to add to your report. Then, drag and drop them onto your report. Next, you can add a title to the slide. Now click on Preview to see how your report looks. As you can see, the table is formatted the same way as the original ClickSense table. To use the PowerPoint table formatting options, you must uncheck the Keep Source Formats checkbox. You can remove this option for the entire table, or by selecting each field individually. Now you can change the formatting options of this table, for example, text size and alignment. If you run a preview, you can see that the PowerPoint formatting has been applied to the table. Let's add a second table to this report. We are going to select another object from the ClickSense connection. First, we are going to add a second slide. Select the objects you want to add, and drag and drop them onto your report. Format the table how you want, and add a title to your slide. Then, select the table name and uncheck the Keep Source Formats checkbox. This ensures that every field in this table will use PowerPoint formatting. You can filter the data contained in this table by selecting a filter you created previously. Run the preview to see the result. Here is the report you've created containing the two tables. If you work with data taken from ClickView, you have more formatting options. In this case, we are going to add a third table from a ClickView connection. Select the data and drag and drop them into the report. As before, uncheck the Keep Source Formats checkbox. Then, in Custom Rows, add the range of rows that you want to display using this formatting. You also have the Show Totals checkbox that allows you to export a table with or without the totals row. Now, run the preview. And here is the report containing two tables from the two ClickSense connections and one ClickView table showing only rows 1 through 5. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.